And with our new Hydra about to launch, we're getting lots of questions about what's the difference between Hydra and the SMP. So we're going to take a look at both here, and we have our traditional SMP, it's our flagship product, what, what got us started. Then we have the new Hydra. We're going to take a look at what they have in common and what's different about them. First thing they have in common is that they're both based on Wolverine Airsoft's proprietary uh, single moving part technology. That's a patent pending technology. And uh, what that means is that they're both direct solenoid fired. So the air uh, flows through the solenoid, pushes the nozzle forward, um, and fires the BB. And then the solenoid closes, nozzle pushes back, and you're done. Very, very simple, uh, very robust, proven technology. So they're both based on the same technology. What do they have different? First thing you'll notice before you even start taking them apart is that um, the front looks different. Uh, on the SMP, the front is one solid piece. On Hydra, uh, there's this interesting looking cutout, this U-shaped cutout, and then the front rotates. Okay, so that's a little different, and we'll talk about why we did that in just a couple minutes. The sec second thing you're going to notice is the lack of airline. There is still an airline in the Hydra, so it's machined into the body itself. So they both still have the airline there, but it's implemented differently. Both systems have our uh, factory upgraded uh, braided grip line. Uh, which doesn't kink. You can bend it, kink it, doesn't hurt. Pops right back. So that's that's really nice and all those come uh, from the factory that way. Let's go ahead and break them apart and see what we have inside. For the SMP, the disassembly is very simple. You have two little screws, one on each side. Pull the nozzle forward and the two halves come apart. Um, if we wanted to, we could take the air, disconnect the airline, but there's really no, no need for it. That's the SMP. Here's our SMP nozzle. You can see the two different piston surfaces here. Uh, the air at the back, the piston at the back, that when the solenoid fires, it pushes the nozzle forward. And the piston at the front, that when the solenoid is closed, the air uh, pushes the nozzle back to the rearward position. Uh, the Hydra has toolless disassembly which means there are no, uh, no tools needed to take it apart for basic maintenance. Yay! The two halves just unscrew from each other. And you'll notice that the, uh, the front half has this internal baffle. That's uh, how we get our air pathway to the front and make it internal to the system. Pop this off, so we have our O-ring on the front of the nozzle there. And here's our hydro nozzle. Okay. So they look a little different. What we've done, essentially, with the Hydra nozzle is we've eliminated this middle section between those two pistons. And we've made, uh, basically made it so that the air operates on this side of this piston and on that side of that piston. So it operates in the same basic way, but it's implemented a little differently. One other thing you're going to notice about Hydra is that this middle section is Delrin. Uh, that's not aluminum, that's actually Delrin. Delrin is an engineering polymer. It's very low friction, it's very temperature stable, and it's extremely wear resistant. The baffle is also Delrin. The reason that we've designed it with Delrin is that this means that the nozzle has an integrated Delrin bushing. Uh, Delrin is the type of material you would, might see in um, high-end automotive suspension uh, bushings. Uh, so that means that the nozzle has an integrated bushing that basically never wears. The advantage of that is that you, you don't have any issue with side loading of the nozzle potentially damaging the system. Traditionally, uh, what has sometimes caused problems is if the system is not installed correctly in the gun, 
and it, the nozzle is running into the hop-up unit, it puts side pressure on the nozzle. And when you do that, as the nozzle cycles back and forth, it can cause the nozzle to scratch because you're rubbing up against the aluminum housing. In this case, the nozzle is rubbing up against Delrin now. The Delrin is never going to scratch the nozzle. So that's the, that's the reason for the Delrin housing on the Hydra. The front end of Hydra is designed so that with one system, we can switch from a centered nozzle design, like the V2 nozzle we have here for an M4, we can swap that out for an offset nozzle, like a P90 that we have here. Now that front portion acts as a guide for the offset nozzle. So just like that, we switched from an M4 to a P90. Now, why did we make the front rotate? By allowing the front to rotate, that means that not only can we do center line and above center nozzles, like a P90 or an M14, but we can do below center nozzles, like a PDR, PDR or an Aries Tavor. So the, the rotating front of the, uh, of the cylinder allows us to accommodate virtually any gearbox on the market with just one system, just by changing the nozzle. See reassembly for each system is also very simple. Nozzle goes back together, housing goes back together, and snug those down. So that's the Wolverine Airsoft SMP and Wolverine Airsoft Hydra. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below.